where we took two Evo grip vices, the same size as this, with a double grip jaw set. We put an 860 pound piece of steel on it, right? Okay. But the 860 pound piece of steel had a little corner break, so we're only using that top, that top jaw set. That's it, not the bottom one. We had one clamp here and one clamp there, one, two vices. And we rolled that part over on its side and shell milled out here. Get out! Yeah. Dave, we're at a partner event today that you guys put on, which thank you guys for making this happen. The people have been loving it, but there's a machine over there running a part, okay? Yep. As a machinist, watching that part run, I want to stand there with my hand over the e-stop, but all of these people are just standing around and letting the thing rip, and you can hear it. Why are they so calm? It's, it's all because of the clamping force and performance of our new vice, our new Evo Grip vice. Uh, that piece of 4140 steel, it's got a big overhang on it. Uh, we do a nice big drill through way out on the overhang, and that vice just holds that part right in position perfectly. But they're so calm, man. Oh yeah, they, they can be with the Evo Grip vice. It's the clamping uh, force on this thing, 75 kilonewtons, it's gonna hold that part in there real nice and tight, even with the overhang and the aggressive drill through we're gonna do in it. That's crazy, so I love that they have that comfort. Clearly it's working, I oh, mean, yeah. The machine tool we have it on is not a cheap machine tool. No, no. So what about this vise? You're talking about clamping force. What kind of clamping force do you get out of this vise? This then? one's a 75 kilonewtons. Okay. Uh, we have a smaller size. This is the 200 wide, uh, 120 wide by 200 long. Yeah. The 200 long comes in uh, 325 and 400. The smaller vices, the smallest one's 70 millimeter wide. That goes to 25 kilonewtons. The medium vise is 100 wide. That goes to 50 kilonewtons. So we've got a massive range of kilonewton force right. based on the size of the white vise that you're putting into yep. it. What about, what's going on with the step here? The step, okay, this is a double grip jaw set, so it's got two levels of gripping on it. Uh, it's a five millimeters tall. Uh, we also, on the smaller vices, they're about two and a half to three millimeters tall. We also have a single grip uh, vise as well, jaw vise, and that, uh, that's just a single grip, so it's a one elevation of the grip surface. Okay, well, and another thing, look, we're talking about the vice and the holding force, which is fantastic. Now I'm clear why yeah. they're so calm. But what about holding it to the table then? Because that's the other thing, the vice can move on the table. Oh, sure. Um, some, some, some other vice suppliers, you can't put the vice to the table, you need a zero point. Our vice has a bolt pattern on the bottom, you can go in line down a T-slot, or you can, uh, you can um, there's another bolt pattern you have, I think it's depending on the size of the vice, yeah. uh, there's four hole pattern that's underneath that as well. Okay, so the place that it's sitting on there, right there, yep, yep. can you tell me a little bit more about those? Yeah, so these two zero point plates, um, this particular one is a 96, they do come in 52 as well. They come in blank versions too, so these uh, attachment points to your, to your uh, uh, table wouldn't be there, it would be yeah. clean, and you can drill your own holes for a custom fit. So we can connect it to the machine table, yep. nice, rigid, Repeatable. What's the repeatability on something Five like microns. that? Five microns. Five microns. We even okay. have some people that take their uh, vice off of the evil point, bring it into their inspection area, put another evil point in there on their first operation, inspect that part, and then bring it right back to the machine. Well, it's still clamped in the well, vice? it's still clamped in the vice. Man, do you know how many times I had to pick up a part geometry yeah. and try to line yeah. it back up and in a vice? And you got to probe it again and everything, right? Or scrap it because or I couldn't make it. it. Right, right. That is so cool. So with everything we're talking about, we're talking about the quick change system, the plates you got underneath, the repeatability at five microns is ridiculous. The holding force going from 75 to 50 to 25, that sounds like industry leading for the work holding force. Absolutely it is, and, it, and it's industry leading in a small package. If you look at other suppliers, they're, 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 uh, vice vices maybe this size, yeah. but it's only 25 or 35 kilonewtons. Yeah, well, and that's the thing. I really like how compact it is, and the jaws are reversible on this guy? Absolutely reversible, and the clamping force we talk about is this direction and that direction, both directions. Oh, really? Oh, sure. Because you know, I've looked at some vices and they advertise this 35 kilonewtons, right. but it's only clamping in, yeah. not out. Not out. You can do it in both in there. So I can do it with both. What else makes this line stand out from the competition? Well, there's a couple things. One is our base plates, it's actually a vice, okay? It's not a bunch of pins that puts on each other. It's actually a vise, has two jaws in it, a screw, right? And yeah. you turn that screw and it tightens those little holes around the, the pull studs. We also have secret sauce on our shaft. It's a coated shaft, it's internally lubricated. We have lubrication channels inside the base jaws. Uh, it's a high pressure, high temperature lithium based grease. Um, it's got sealed inside so there's no chip contamination. 
It's got very tight guideways on it, so no chips get in your guideways. Um, it's um, fully integrated on the bottom with different connections. So not only can we go to this type of plate, we can go to another type of plate that we sell, another different riser. And those risers, believe it or not, depending on the size you're choosing, you can take material off the bottom up to 30 millimeters, so you oh. get that custom height in your vise. So you can even fine tune the height, even if you're going with a stock off the shelf riser. Absolutely. So. I have a couple more questions about yep. what makes this unique, yep. but what is stock like on this? Let's say the people out there are watching, they're like, man, I want to try this out. What's stock like on something like uh, this? This whole setup is stocked right in the, right in the United States, West Boylston, Massachusetts. So I don't have to worry about duties bringing it in. It's already here on the shores. It's already here. Okay. Yep. And it's all made with our top cut VAR in Germany. So we know the people that make the cutting tools that make this thing. <laughs> It's kind of cool that Amugi supplies the cutting tools, the tool holding, and now the work holding as well. Well, the idea behind it, table to spindle, one supplier. Yeah. Right? That is so cool, man. Yep. So we talked about stock. Now, what are some other applications that make this stand out where we couldn't use the competitor's vice for this? Yeah. Well, some of the big ones, and we've talked about the clamping force, certainly, yeah. right? So uh, with our jaw sets, um, in this this standard size, which is 120 by 200, there's two positions for the drivers. In the larger vices that in this size go to 400 millimeters long, there's three positions in the drivers, and it could drive it, the vice jaw that way, or it can drive the vice jaw that direction. That's pretty quick and simple. Pretty quick and simple. Obviously, we haven't bolted this one in. You have to bolt it in, and by the way. I don't want to call them special bolts, but they really are special bolts. Class 14.9 bolts. Class? They got a 6% stretch and about a 60 to 70% bend factor in them. Super nice bolts. And you need that for these pressures, right? That, I don't know if I've ever heard of a class 14 before. I'm really familiar with class 8 yeah, yeah. in the assembly yeah. world, but class yep. 14, that sounds fantastic. 14.9, yep. It's a very, very unique bolt. Very cool. And you need those bolts. They need to take that pressure and keep yep. it where it is. What else sets you apart from the competition, though? Oh, we have this one little thing that we do, it's kind of neat. When you have a large part, right, and you have another vise over here, you can take the jaw off, right, and you, you, you use that one jaw on this side and one jaw on that side. You can yeah. use a connector with it, but if you're doing a very large part, maybe an arched part, right, have yeah. an angle with it. When you bolt these vices or base plate to your machine, you don't, you're kind of forcing that workpiece to be where the vise is. Yeah. So we have a little trick where we have one vise set up like this where you would clamp the part. The remaining vices in the arc, you would remove the saddle, okay? The saddle has a special bolt pattern on it. The okay. shaft has a special pattern. So when you go to reassemble it, you can't do it backwards. That's right? always nice That's to know. That's always nice. But when you take that shaft out of there, these base jaws and the shaft itself will slide back and forth. But when you tighten the vise, it'll lock into these, these T-ways in here. Yeah. So you have the one vise that's solid, and the remaining vices will have that shaft float. And what that gets you, it gets the vise to where the workpiece is. Doesn't demand that that, that workpiece go to where the vise is. So I don't have to shim it. Don't I don't have, have to, to sit it. there with a hammer and tap my vise nope. around. Nope. I don't have to do anything like that. Nope, and the bonus is when you release that part, you have no idea where that vise was touching that part. Well, and there's no more stresses releasing either. Nope. How many times have you unleashed a vice to walk the oh, park? Sure. Go, doing. Go, goes back into position, and you can see where you milled it. Yeah. Right? You can see where that vice was. Look, I know we started this conversation talking about the workforce. Your competition talks about how strong it holds to. Do you have an application that just blew you away? Yeah, we have one application where we took two Evo grip vices, the same size as this, with a double grip jaw set, we put an 860 pound piece of steel on it, right? Okay. But the 860 pound piece of steel had a little corner break, so we're only using that top, that top jaw set. That's it, not the bottom one. We had one clamp here and one clamp there, one, two vices. And we rolled that part over on its side and shell milled out here. Get out! Yeah. You didn't have That's, a big like plate up there? No. You didn't have straps on there? No, nope. just put it right over on its side and started shell milling it. And the sound, the sound was perfect, right? That cutter didn't, didn't deviate, the chips weren't vibrating on top, perfect. That is beautiful, man. I yeah. am excited for more shops out there to check this out yeah, and good. to get involved in getting Mugi on the shop floor. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.